Welcome to the show. I'm Dom Dumas, and I'm in Bangkok. I'm also the official podcaster of the SHL. Thai Snacks, episode 42. Today is really special because I've got a very, very special guest. I'm really excited. I finally got her on the show, and that's my lovely wife, Tracy. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So we're going to try some Thai snacks. Now, most of these, almost all of them, I haven't tried. It's just one I've had because it was a mistake. I'll explain that when we get to it. The other one that I know about is it's just just the smell is <laughs> Man, just so like it just the smell is quite revolting. But I'm going to let Tracy start off with her first snack. So Okay, so the the snack that I chose to go with first, I'm going to just hold it forward, forward a, little a little bit. More. There you go. Just in case. I can That's do a bit good. of a zoom. And this is bread and butter. Oh, that's the camera, isn't it? Yeah. This is bread <laughs> and butter, which is something that blew my mind when I first came to Thailand, that you could get a single slice of bread with butter on it in 7-Eleven. But the special... Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> the special thing about this bread and butter is it also has sugar on it. And I think in Thailand they call it sugar bread or something. And I had a quick look at the at the back, at the ingredients, and it has wheat flour, butter flavour topping, sugar, and margarine. Nice. <laughs> All of those things are going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, and while I'm opening it for you, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story related to this stuff. Because when we lived in Chiang Mai, we had a, a wonderful woman who used to come and do our cleaning. And whenever we went on holiday, I can't open it. Whenever we went on holiday, she also took care of Spike. In fact, Spike, our dog, he's a Chihuahua. He used to go and stay at her house, and she always used to come. When we came back from holiday, she'd bring him back with a new tail of things that he liked. And one time, <laughs> she came back and she goes, "Hey, did you know Spike likes sugar bread?" Sorry to interrupt you, but that has a very interesting fragrance. As soon as you opened it, yeah. I could smell it. I was like... <laughs> yeah, it's, it smells like pure synthetic food. It doesn't smell like food that was ever near nature. It's so making me <laughs> hungry. <laughs> no! So anyway, apparently Spike's tried this. We've never tried it, but Spike tried it and he likes it. But then Spike likes cat shit. As a snack, also, so we're not, he's not reliable. Okay, I'm trying to get this out now with. Oops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I just don't want. Oh, no, there's a oh, thing. Oh, there's, there's yeah. a film on it. Okay. I washed my hands before we did this. I didn't. I was scratching my ass just before we started. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I washed my hands too. <laughs> Okay, so there's a layer. I was trying to get it out so that I could show you, but there's like a layer covering the, the bread that is obviously part of the packet, so I can't take that out. Man, this is gross. Okay, I'm going to put it on there. Okay. Okay, so if you'd like to cut it, because I'm you covered want, you in You want me to cut now. it? All right, here we go. How big a piece? Just a small. <laughs> Just a small piece. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And like that? Yeah. Okay. I'm scared. You should be. It just, it smells so real. <laughs> but not real as in nature real. Smells no, it so. smells like, <laughs> there. Oh, you want me to go first, right? Yeah. Oh, can I have a drink first before I start? Yeah. All right. I have, do I have to chew it and like roll it around on my tongue and yeah, everything? Yeah, you've got to explain <laughs> how it tastes. <laughs> mm. uh, th actually, this isn't the one that's scary. I'm, I'm more <laughs> worried about the next one, but. Not my next one, her next one. Okay. So. Butter bread, sugar bread. Buttered sugar bread. I'm not a big fan of the flavor of butter anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's a lot of sugar in there. <laughs> it's that moment where you stop. It absolutely tastes like 
synthetic butter on bread. And it's very, very sweet. There's like granulars of sugar. Granulars of sugar are good. Yeah, like crunchy. It's crunchy. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's not, I'm not going to say it's good, <laughs> but it's not bad either. So. I want to try it. All right. You'll probably like it. Mm. I have to admit, I find this a little bit difficult that the mic is so far from me. I keep wanting to move closer to the mic. I want to keep moving closer to the mic. Well, the mic doesn't want to hear you. Know, okay. okay, when I was a kid, my mum used to make cakes, and the first step was melting, well, not melting margarine, but softening margarine with sugar, and then mixing them together, and she used to let me stick my finger in it and eat it, so it kind of reminds me of that. I think it's quite well, nice. That's because margarine is synthetic butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that, it's got that, it's, it's definitely, it's not a natural taste, and the bread, it's like... Absolutely, the cheapest sliced bread money can buy, but I could yeah, eat is. that happily. No, I'm sure you could. Okay, so is it, are you ready for mine? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move this off to the side here. Move that over here. So, right there. But I don't need that right now. <laughs> These are milky tablets, and the funny story about these is. When I started teaching in Thailand, I had some, my students were eating uh, some type of snack, and they were like, "Oh, teacher Dom, teacher Dom," and they gave me one of these, and I and I looked at it and I said, "Oh, are they delicious?" I said, "Yes, yes, aroy, aroy." So I didn't even think about it, and I just popped it into my mouth. And it's kind of one of those flavors that just stick with you for a very, very long time. So, since I did the, the first one, here you go, my love. I don't know if the camera picked it up. They have a little cow face on. They ha yeah, they have a cow face on them. They smell like bad milk. <laughs> <laughs> and just that, ha that happened to me just as it was going into my mouth. It's like, ooh. Exactly, and you're and you're moving at, a, at yeah. such a rate. You don't. You're like ah yeah. ah. Okay, they they crumble. In England, we used to get Horlicks tablets. They have the texture of Horlicks tablets, but Horlicks had a pleasant malted milk taste. This is just sour milk. Bad milk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long teeth. All right, I, now. Oh. I know that. Wait, there's more. It has layers of oh, no. disgusting. Yeah, you chose yeah. it. I know, I chose this for that. Oh, wow. On one side, the cow is looking at you. On the other side, eyes. it's gagging. <laughs> and on the other side, he's winking at you. <laughs> yeah, because he knows. Because he knows <laughs> they are ass. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, very much sour milk you taste. You got to crunch it. I know. Because I got to. Oh, it gets in your teeth as well, so you kind of keep pulling bits out. Oh, mm. that is bad. I don't Horrible. understand why kids like that. They so love them. I can't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you think this is bad? Oh, I can't even look. There's <laughs> <laughs> a bit Miley Cyrus there, a bit white cake mm. doll. <laughs> Maybe that's how she gets her tongue white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> the milk only thing and that beer. kills beer. Milky tablets. Ugh. Yeah, those are going in the bin. Mm. I'll be finishing that bread and butter later, but the tablets. That's fine. Okay, can I go on to my next yeah, one? Yeah, now we're going to the next one. This I'm really excited about. I've never had them. For and I'm the, crying. I've been in Thailand for a long time, but for most of that time I was vegetarian, so I couldn't eat things like this. And the first time I came across these, I was at the cinema. And this is like before Dom came to Thailand, so it's not a story involving him. Um, but I was at the cinema, um, and I'm eating my popcorn, doo -doo 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 -doo, and, and somebody, well, I won't say, I don't know what somebody was doing, but suddenly this smell 
<laughs> came over my shoulder from behind me and I was scared to look around. It was like, what is going on back there? Because there was this smell of fish. And uh, the, the person I was with, I asked them, what, what is that smell? And he said, oh, um, somebody's just opened a bag of fishies necks. <laughs> and that's what these are. They're strips of taro. So you, you can only have like one just in case yeah. you're allergic. Um, strips of taro kind of dried um, and they taste of fish. Uh, it says taro fish snack, spicy flavoured. You gotta give them the picture there. Oh, sorry. I also have a story about these. When I was teaching in Chiang Mai, and we would, you know, we were teaching classes. They were two hours long. Halfway through, we would take a break, and all my students would go out, and they'd come back, and they're, I could see them, they're gnawing on this stuff. I'm like, oh, what are you, are you ready to come back? And they go, hi, teacher Dom. And it was just like this pungent fish smell coming off of their breath. It was like, oh. So I'm not really looking forward to this one. I'm looking forward to this one. I like fish, so. And I like stinky things. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, though. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is. I'm going to cry. It's like uh, going. Well, you have to have been in time. There's like dry fish markets or dry crusty This fish. is like dry fish market times 10. You have to have like three pieces they get. Why do I have to have three pieces? Because to get their flavor. First off, the smell is like rotting fish. Mm. Very, very rotting fish. I've been around lots of places <laughs> where there's like rotting fish guts and stuff. Yeah. Trying to build up for I'm this. Just, yeah, I just like <laughs> nibbling one bit. I gave you three and then I'm like... Why are you... <laughs> I'm cheating. Okay. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm trying not to be sick. It's very fishy. <laughs> oh. Very, very fishy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, that was quite disappointing. It's not as I I knew from the smell. <laughs> it's not it's not as good as I expected it to be. Oh. <sighs> oh, I think I should have gotten more beer. <laughs> well you've got something to wash your mouth out with shortly. Oh. Yeah, that's quite fishy and gross. Oh, gross is this will take the taste away. Yes. Now, this next snack, every adult class that I have taught has, yes, there's pictures there, has, they, they always have these and they love them. And they're right here. And I'm going to actually show them up here, just in case. They are salted plums. And they're dried. And I'm opening them here so I can show you what they look like. Oh, excuse me. Fish and milk. <laughs> Fish and milk and beer. Be oh, horrible, horrible com com combination. I can't even talk it so bad. But, and I've had these. There's a little stem on it. Put this right here for right now. It's like a little mummified testicle. Yeah, I'm going to get sick now. <laughs> so you can see here. Dried salted plum. I'm going to give one to Tracy. I don't know if they have pits in them or not. They probably will have. These are a very common thing, like a snack for, I think, lots of different Asian cultures. I know they're, they're very popular in China and Japan. Uh, they have slightly different 
flavour preferences. Um, this is a Thai version, but it's kind of if you know, if you've got Asian friends, you probably <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every <laughs> they all love them. So all right, here we go. As you can see, they look quite shriveled. Are you just popping the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah. Why are you licking it? <laughs> Not bad. They're lovely. Mm. I like They're not something you generally chew normally. You would sit with it in the, the kind of side mm. of your mouth. and They are very, very salty. Yeah, that's why you don't normally, yeah, mm. you just suck them. So. I'm not making any comments. Mm. A little bit sour. Mm. Not bad. I'm going to use this as a rubbish bin. I'm going to turn from the camera. I'm sure you don't want to see this. <laughs> it's pretty good. Ew! That smells horrible still. You'd think it would air out. Mm. I like those. I don't, I don't particularly like chewing them because I have them... I won't say I have, to have them a lot, but I've had them regularly. Mm. And you just, like, I guess in the West, we tend to have, like, a mint and just mm. leave it in your mouth. It helps you pass the time, especially if you're trying to not snack that often. And also, like, if you're a smoker and you're somewhere where you can't smoke, it's something to yeah. entertain your mouth with. It's, it serves the same kind I of purpose. I have something to entertain your mouth with. I know. That was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> This may be the last time I come on the podcast. No! <laughs> no! All right, next. Okay, I'd, I'm kind of regretting I chose this. Why? Because <laughs> I'm scared of it a little bit. But again, um, you know, in the West, there's a current craze for energy drinks like Red Bull. Red Bull is kind of... Um, associated with Thailand, it's a joint venture, I think, between Thailand and somebody from Coca-Cola. I another believe. country. Uh, originally, I think he was a Norwegian guy or a oh. Finnish guy or something like that, um, and it was a joint venture. I'm sure Red Bull is now bought by Coca-Cola yeah. or something, but that w it, it kind of that concept came from Thailand, and now there are like Monster and energy energy drinks are huge, um, but these are like the traditional style. Thai energy drinks, um, much loved by bus drivers, taxi and drivers, taxi drivers, motorcycle and taxi anybody drivers, who has to drivers. stay awake, you know, long beyond where they should be staying awake, and for the health Truck and drivers. safety of of the general public, these people should be taking a nap. But instead, they take um, this, and this one is called Emroy Hazet, which is just means M one hundred and fifty. And hold it up to the other one, too. I've never been a big fan of energy drinks. Um, just, I think the only one I've ever had was Jolt, and it was one of the nastiest things I ever had. Um, that was a what was considered an energy drink back in the 80s. Yeah, this is like an old-fashioned... And it, I always used to think when I smelt them, it tastes a bit like cough medicine. Um, and I had a friend actually, uh, well, she's still my friend, it's just I've lost touch with her, called Vicky. Um, and she used to work with me at St. Gabriel's and she loved these things. And she started having a bottle every morning and then she'd have a couple of bottles. And then she'd have like a couple of bottles in the morning and a bottle in the early afternoon. And, and then she started getting pains in her back. She went to the doctors and she was basically having, I think, borderline kidney failure because she was abusing this stuff she was just, wow so you have to be careful with it in quantities uh frank i don't know if you watch my podcast but you would probably love these we tried to send some to you and it yeah. got lost I'll, I'll bring some when i come to visit if you can get them through customs uh, it's, oh, just I can like, it's just like cough medicine that i used to have when i was a kid or some kind of antibiotic yep. It smells just like cough syrup. Ugh, should I go first? Yeah, 
I wonder if you can make that thing with it that, you know, some Jolly Ranchers and a bottle of that. Oh, yeah, I am absolutely sure. <laughs> you can make something illegal with it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, my stomach is all, like, going... <laughs> then that's from the milk and from the fishy snacks. And the plums. The plums, no, actually, might help settle it. But All right, here we go. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> it's got a nice flavor. I wasn't expecting that at all. It's sure. not um, thick like cough syrup. It's quite liquidy. No. <laughs> yeah. It is very sweet. It's like cough syrup. It's not thick like cough. It tastes no, like cough syrup, but it's yeah. not thick like cough it's syrup. It's got like artificial cherry or something. Absolutely. What is the flavor? Um, it's in Thai. Yeah. I wondered if it had got quantities like how much caffeine there is in it, but I can't see, and I'm not sure if it's even in English. It's not in English. Maybe uh, we'll Google it, and Dom can put it in his show notes or absolutely. something. Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, Frank, you would absolutely love this. I'll <laughs> tag you in sweet. the podcast. I have one more drink. I'm going to be awake for days. I think you can mix it with booze in the same way that you can with Red Bull, you know. It is very, very sweet. Very sweet. Okay. It's like, oh, it's horrible. Okay. Oh, another. It's horrible. <laughs> Just like in uh, hmm. that movie. Um, game uh, hunting. About the Open season. Open season, yeah. Mm. So. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah. But it's, it's kind of gross. But I can imagine if you need a stimulant. And the, those people who drink these shoot them. They just go, do done. I guess you need a, if you need it, you need it. Yeah. You know, if you so. don't need it over a long period, you need a. I'm awake now! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been kind of waiting for this one. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the picture. See, I, it looks like it might that video might have stopped recording. But anyway, the story behind this is when I first moved to Thailand. We Tracy brought me to this lovely restaurant and had me try Thai food, Thai style, my very first meal in Thailand. And I fell in love with Thai food that is hot and spicy. It's not opening that way. Um, Maybe just open it and then talk because you're rattling in. So, oh yeah, that looks almost identical. Um, so, the next morning, I thought I would be really nice, and I, I would go get Tracy and I breakfast. I would go to like Seven Eleven. Uh, the local place was a 7-Eleven, but just like you would find at any convenience store, they have donuts. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, Krispy Kreme or Mr. Donut or whatever. And I saw, as you can see on the label here, it says donut. Oh, that, you know, that'd be a nice breakfast. I'll get, you know, I'll, I'll get some donuts. I'll get us some coffee, get some orange juice, and we'll have breakfast. And I arrived with this. And Tracy was just like, yeah, no, I'm not having any of that. You're more than welcome to try it. <laughs> and I'm like, why? She's just, just, it's, no, that's okay. <laughs> um, so I tried it, and <laughs> it is shredded pork with salad dressing. And not like American salad dressing, like Thai style salad dressing, which is like super, super sweet and creamy and thick and goopy. Yeah, it wasn't very nice, <laughs> but I'm going to eat it again just for this particular show. So, And I've never eaten it. So, is it pork floss? Okay. It, this one says shredded pork. Mm. I think the one I had that I got that one time yeah, was pork floss. floss. So. All right, now, here we go. Ooh, should I clean that off? Did you bring any tissues? I've got some loo paper. That works. Loo paper is good, because I don't want to get that You don't want to butter. mix your taste. No. I've already mixed them enough. Erp. So. Down there. Got 
to make sure you get some of the pork. Oh. I'm scared of this, but just very specifically, it was sitting, it's the last thing on the shelf, and it looks a bit like it might be oh, beyond its... I didn't even its... get a lot of bread on there. <laughs> beyond its sell by day, it just looks a bit like lonely and... I feel more optimistic looking at it. Okay. Choose your poison. Thank you. So, it just smells like something sweet. Sweet like a bread. Yeah. It's very crumbly on the fingers. You're not supposed to open it. You're just I supposed to, to pop the it hole is, there. It is floss. I just wanted to okay. clarify. I'll get that later. I think you dropped it. <laughs> Tracy has this little bit of a problem whenever we eat. It doesn't matter if we're eating at home or if we're going out to dinner. She tends to spill food on herself. No problem. Okay. So go for it's it. It's got to go in. It's got to go in? Dead. <laughs> Dead. It's actually all right. Yeah? Okay. It's very sweet. Not according to that face. It's actually all right. I mean, it's not... I'm not... <laughs> I won't be rushing out to buy half a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, because I'm not eating them. All right. But it's very sweet. And you can't taste pork. It's just sweet... Something weird texture. Melt in your mouth yeah. Mm. All right, here we go. I can taste pork. Yeah? Mm. I just taste like sugary, a bit of salad cream and then something a bit. I taste pork and salad cream and, and sweet. It is absolutely sweet. I'll show you what the inside here looks like. And then I'll zoom in on that. So. It's not very nice, I don't think. So, what did you think? Um, I like the bread and the sugar bread best. The sugar bread? Yeah. Okay. And I think the worst was the maybe the fishy snacks. And I was so excited <laughs> about those. I really thought I was going to like the fishy ones the best. But I agree no. wholeheartedly <laughs> about the worst would be... These are absolutely, in our both of our opinions, the worst. <laughs> um, for me, it's a toss-up about what the best would be. I kind of like the salted plums. They're pretty good. I'm not going to be rushing out and buying more. And the Emroy Hossip was, was pretty good. Um, but I'm not an energy drink person, so... I'm not going to be, I, I may not even finish this particular bottle, but, okay. Um, Tracy has requested that she doesn't do the always remember, which is okay. I can accept that, <laughs> but um, I'm going to do the always remember. So I want you to always remember that you should try to be a little bit daring in life and try things that you don't think you normally would try. Even if you don't think you're going to like it. Because, I mean, some of them weren't bad. Uh, the pork wasn't as bad this time, you know, the second time around. The butter bread actually wasn't, I mean, I'm not a butter person, but um, it wasn't too bad. The, the, the fishy snacks were horrible, but... You tried only, them. That's the good thing. I tried them. Absolutely, I tried them. So, take a chance and, and try the things that you don't think you're going to like. At least try them so you can to say, hey, I don't like them, but... Use an open mind. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. It's time for SHL News. So we just finished off week two. In the first game this week, we had last week's winner, Spitfires, at Titanium Sport Corner, facing off against each other to see who would remain the king of the hill. 
Titanium Sports Corner type, topped off the Spitfires 4-2. to two. Both goals by the Spitfires went to last week's player of the game, Adrian Myers, number 11, with an assist going to Ernesto Bauer, number 6. The goals for the Titanium Sports Corner this week went to John Shagnovsky, number 18, Penity Jetto Nawesetowong, number 5, and two goals went to this week's player of the game, Yoni Henonen, number 92. The assist for the Titanium Sports Corner came from Yari Eichernen, number 95, and John Shagnovsky, number 18, Arkady Goncharov, number 25, our player of the game, Yoni Henonen, number 92, also got an assist, an assist. And Remo Nefengar, number 16, was awarded two assists for this game. Gabor Toth, number 50, held strong in the net this week, making 15 saves from 17 shots. And Jason Kostmeyer, number 30, did a great job as well in only allowing four goals in 26 shots. Both goaltenders had a great showing in this game. I talked to the player of the game, Yoni Henonen, number 92, from the Titanium Sports Corner. So I have the player of the game, Yoni, from Titanium Sports Club. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh. You got two goals and assists tonight. What's going on? I, was, I think I was lucky. Uh. You look good out there, that's for sure. And yeah. you're a right wing, right? Yeah, 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 right wing. Okay, and what's your plan for the next game? Ah, I want to make three goals. Three make, goals? Three goals sounds better than two. Huh? But I actually, I, I, like, uh, I like to pass, so looks better. if uh, I like more if I have a three assists than three goals. Okay, yeah. so three assists yeah, this time. Phoenix guys like to pass. Excellent. All right, congratulations. Thank you. In our second game, we had two teams looking for redemption after last week's shootout losses. Although the Hooters hung in there in the first period, they just couldn't hang in there for the second and third periods and were just dominated by the aware. In the first period, the Hooters got a goal and their second goal came in the third period. The goals came from Steven Sproul, number 22, which was assisted by Justin St. Denise, and the second goal was scored by Justin and that was unassisted. The Hooters goaltender, Parteparal, Dream, Ankal Patanask, number 29, gave a fair showing, stopping 24 of 31 shots. The aware had goals coming from Chanak Chon, Tan, Limin Pet, number 26, and Tewin Thor, Chatsawan, number 65, Brendan Vick, number 2, and Devin Michael, number 39, Darren Boodle, 21, and two goals coming from the team captain, Patrick Lundback. Number 51. The assist for the aware came from Devin Michael, number 39, Tan, number 26, added a point to his total with an assist as well. The goaltender for the aware, Yves Galbarat, number 35, had a great game stopping 19 out of 21 shots. The player of the game for this for uh, this particular game was Patrick Lundback, number 51, the captain of the wear, but unfortunately he had to leave early, so we didn't get a chance to, to get an interview with him this week. Now for some SHL player stats. Our goal leaders so far with first place would go to Adrian Myers, number 11 of the Spitfires. He's leading the league with three goals after two games. Tied for second with two goals, we have from the Titanium Sports Corner, Yoni Henonen and John Shaknovsky. The Aware have two players with Patrick Lundbeck and Brandon Vick. The Spitfires have one with Jeff McIntyre, number 93. And the Hooters have one with Justin St. Denise, number 71, and Gentapong Mu Teng Sakol, number 78. And tied for third with one goal, each we have from the Titanium Sport Corner, Penethi, Jetto, and Arav, Ith, Ventpeniakal, number 79. And from the Aware, we have Darren Boodle, number 21, Thor, number 65, Chek Chon, 
Tan Limpinipet, num- number 26, Devin Michael, number 39, and Papan Yin Ten Karekinen, number 91. And from the Spitfires, we have David Bohr, number 89, and Kritipad Pim Jared Twatipirid, number 73. And from the Hooters, we have Stephen Sproul, number 22, and Paul Stoddart, number 8. And lastly, Michael White, number 67. Now our assist leaders ending this week, tied for first place with two assists apiece from the Titanium Sports Corner, we have Yari Ekaninen and Remo Nefenegar, number 16. The Spitzfires, we have Ernesto Bauer, number 6. And from Hooters, we have Steven Sproul, number 22. And tied in second with one assist, we have from the Titanium Sport Corner, we have Arkady Gacharov, number 25, Yoni Henonen, number 92, Joe Lamantia, number 66, and John Sheknovsky, number 18. From the Aware, we have Tan, Devin Michael, and Christoph Olofsson, number 85, and Stanislav Opelia, number 27. From the Spitfires, we have Jeff McIntyre, number 93, and Brad Wilson, number 49. And from the Hooters, we have Justin St. Denis, seven, number 71, and Moo, number 78. Our points leaders this week are tied with three points. From the Titanium Sport Corner, we have Yoni Hanonen, number 92, and John Sheknovsky, number 18. From the Spitfires, we have Jeff McIntyre, number 93, and Adrian Myers, number 11. And from the Hooters, we have Steven Sproul, number 22, Justin St. Denis, 71, and Moo, number 78. Our penalty and minutes leaders this week, with two and a half minutes apiece, from the Titanium Sports Corner, we have Zach Garofalo, number 71, Joe Lamantia, 66, and Remo Neffingar, number 16. And from the Spitfires, we have Alistair Fawcett, number 3, Garrett Howden, number 63, Jeff McIntyre, number 93, and Adrian Myers, number 11. From the Aware, we have Thor, number 65, and Christian, number 85. From Hooters, we have Tommy Helkinen, number 86. Our goaltenders this week are Yves Gebralt, number 35 of the Aware, with 38 saves and a 0.905%. Gabber Toth, 50, from the Titanium Sport Corner, with 32 saves and a 0.889%. And Jason Kostmeyer, number 30, from the Spitfires, with 34 saves at a 0.791%. And Dream, from the Hooters, number 29, with 40 saves at a 0.769%. And that's all for now. I'll see you at the rink. Please rate my show or leave a comment or make suggestions of what you would like me to talk about. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Dom Dumas, on Twitter at Dom Dumas, or on Instagram, Dom underscore Dumas. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.